giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2019 IRI Draft. Hey, guys, it's here. IRI, of course, one of the biggest competitions of the year. Uh, we have 68 fantastic teams to choose from here. Uh, speaking of which, we have 10. It's kind of weird to say teams and teams, but we have uh, 10 draft teams uh, that are below, and we're going to introduce them in just a moment. If you're not quite sure what's going on, type exclamation draft rules. We'll give you an explanation there. Somebody in chat can probably let you know. But here's what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to essentially randomly pick uh, one of these 68 teams at a time we're going to uh there'll be a 10 second start timer and then teams are going to bid it starts at a dollar can go as high as they want i've heard 55 is going for 200 dollars uh today so we'll see if that works out uh but with that said uh let's introduce the teams and we'll do a few more things so starting out we have ben on popped cargo so let us know uh what frc team you're from or if you want to see slff that's fine too Hey, Tyler. Uh, I'm with FRC 225 uh, here alone on my team. This is going to be a lot of fun. I rise always a lot of fun. Awesome. And we have uh, RCAT 51 with the Boys Club. Uh, what's up, y'all? Uh, I'm Ryan. I'm an alumni of 422. Uh, this draft, I had a little bit of help from Eric from 2175 and Anki from 5511. And uh, I'm on the SLFF team route and uh, here to have some fun. Awesome, man. Uh, questionable decision makers. I, uh, I'm PJ. I'm heading up today. Also in chat here is Abby. She is the best member of the Questionable Decision Makers. Don't listen to what she says. Uh, we had some help also with uh, from Preston from Team 401 and uh, Trevor from down in Georgia helped a lot too. Same with Brian from 2791. Kind of helped us get some data together. Awesome. And then we have uh, Robotics, which I'm, I'm guessing is from 107 or no? Hey, this is Caitlin. Uh, I'm an active member on Team 5943, oh. but um, I'm getting help from a team member from 107. All right. That makes a lot more sense. Awesome. Good luck to you, and welcome, Caitlin. And we have uh, Team Cup of Joe. All right. My name is Mikhail. I'm on SLFF Team Salty Spittoon, and I had some help from Kavi from 1425, a few 6443 scouts, and Josiah from 2990, who originally created the team but had the work. All right, well, thanks for stepping in. Uh, next up, we have uh, Just OK Robotics with a thumbs up emoji. Uh, hey, it's Anthony. I'm from Team 3175. Uh, that's pretty much it. All right, uh, and we have The Lunch Company. Um, what's up? It, it's me, Danny. I'm from Team 2491, and also in the call is Haley, who currently mentors a few New England teams, including Team 78 and 1729. And also a guy who helped us out a lot with this is Max, We're currently on Team 1369. Fantastic. Uh, and we have the Maple Alliance. Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm a media mentor on 5406. Um, first year participating, excited. The people that I want to give a huge shout out helping uh, Helping out with the draft on this team would be Thomas from 3739 Oak Botics and Shadab from 18. And next up, we have the Brian Griffins. Hi, I'm Sabu from 2338. I have two other members from my team, as well as one 930 member helping. All right, and congrats to 930, by the way. I think they just won this past weekend at Laser Lights, if I remember correctly. Uh, and last but not least, we have Squad Behind the Glass. Hi, I'm Nick from Team 4028, getting some help from Parker, Ryan, and Rachel, who are also on the team. All right, so here's how it's going to work. Once again, each team is going to get $200. 
uh, to get as many teams as you want. There is no limit to how many teams they get. We'll be using uh, standard uh, SLS, SLFF uh, scoring for this, which means that uh, essentially it's going to be kind of district scoring-wise. Long story short, when a team does better, team ranks better, team gets picked higher, and the team goes longer in the playoffs, they're going to get more points for that. By the way, just want to mention, uh, first off, our live draft teams here. Uh, the winning captain will receive an uh, Amazon gift card, and uh, we will be having an awesome uh, pick em draft. So these teams here are going to be setting the prices for you, so you can select your own set of teams as well, too. Uh, and for that, we have from our friends at Cooler Master a uh, MS120 keyboard and mouse kit. The winner of that, if you're in the U.S., because shipping is a little bit expensive, that will be shipped to you. Uh, if you're outside of the U.S., we'll, ship you, uh, we'll uh, email you an Amazon gift card as well. So either way we'll make sure you win uh more information on that you can see on the top there's actually the uh url scrolling on top there right now so it's tinyurl.com forward slash fun iri 2019 the forum's closed right now that will open up a little bit after the draft ends sometime tonight so with that said good luck to all the teams i'm apparently peeking out a little bit uh and we're going to start the draft right away uh, our first team up on the bidding block is going to be team number 5190. 5190, that's the Green Hope Falcons. And they are coming in from the North Carolina district. So good luck to all teams. 49, 19, and 1 this season. And we'll see what our first team goes for. Uh, $15 immediately there by Popped Cargo. Shout out the Discord crashing as the show started. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Up to $20, squad behind the glass. And by the way, let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet for you. We'd like to have a little bit of background. Uh, TLC outbidding themselves. Always great <laughs> strategy to look at there. Uh, Maple Alliance still bring it up to 30 out of the $200. That's a lot of dollars. <clears throat> that is a lot of dollars, but 32 for squad behind the glass. Uh, Green Hope Falcons this year, a couple blue banners, winner of the UNC Asheville District and the North Carolina District Championship as well as bidding closes for $32 for Green Hope Falcons. So nicely done. Going, That's our first uh, team going down there to squad behind the glass. Our next team coming up is going to be team number 3847 Spectrum. 3847 Spectrum, a, a team, of course, well-known uh, throughout the area of uh, Woody Flower Award winner there with Alan Gregory this year. We're going to go ahead and start that bidding. Uh, 57, 21, and 1 this year in the regular season. Three blue banners, of course. Uh, winners of the Roebling Division this year also won the El Paso District. $25 out of the gate right away at the 27 by TLC. Uh, so, of course, at uh, the Roebling Division, pairing up with team number uh, 148 uh, and taking the Roebling Division. Very strong showing by them this year, especially there at championships. $32 now by TLC, $34 by Brian's Griffins. Uh, so, chat, we definitely want to know what you think about these bids as well. If you think that it's a great value, let us know. If you think they paid too much, feel free to uh, critique them in chat and let them know your feelings and thoughts for that as well. Thank you, by the way, to all the subscribers out there as TLC takes Spectrum for $35. TLC gets their first team right there, 35 out of their $200. Our next team coming up is one of our local teams, and that's going to be team number 868, the Tech Hounds. 868, the Tech Hounds, 50, 13, and 2. I did not know their record was that good. 50, 13, and, and 2. Very quietly, very, very good this year. Yeah. Uh, a couple of blue banners, of course, the Indiana District Championship, and also one Center Grove in Indiana as well. Uh, championships knocked on the quarterfinals will rank 21st at the Darwin division. So up to $17 by the Brian Griffins, 18 for robotics. How are people bidding? Um, there's a uh, certain amount of live teams that we have. Uh, these teams have access to a server uh, that allows us to bid uh, using a software called draft wrapper, which is uh, uh, provided to us by uh, somebody named T2T2 off the uh, web show that I've been watching for Many years, so very cool of them to provide that to us and give us a licensing for that. Uh, Twenty-four dollars for Cup of Joe for eight That's a nice, like, solid bids coming out the gate here. Yeah, already twenty-four dollars and sold for twenty-four uh, for Cup of Joe. All right, we're gonna uh, go out of orbit a little bit and take our team from all the way around the world. And, of course, that's going to be team number 1690 Orbit coming in from Israel, guys. 
uh, making the trip out to IRI. Very exciting to see uh, for this team. Uh, uh, one of my favorite teams this year uh, who fell short a lot in many occasions, but has a very powerful robot nonetheless. So we're interested to see what they go for. Do they get the respected Zerman $33 right away? $40, obviously. Uh, turning some heads there as well, up to 45 already. Don't forget, guys, we got 68 teams to go through. <laughs> But why not spend a quarter of your budget, Maple Alliance, and sold? Went pretty. I'm always quick, hesitant. Though. I'm always hesitant with international teams because they got they got a lot to get through over to get over here. Yeah, what happens if their robot like doesn't show up or something like that, right? So I know Wingus and Dingus were worried about that. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so that takes that one, and the next one coming up is coming from Upstate New York, and that is going to be team number three forty GRR Greater Rochester Robotics three forty. Uh, alma mater of uh, a couple of our hosts here, Mike and Justin. And with a record of 32-16-0 this year. And here comes their bidding out of the gate. $6 immediately. No blue banners this year for uh, 340 uh, We're in the finals a couple times, though, both at uh, Finger Lakes, SPBLI number two, and out on the quarters and daily. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Holy oh, like no. Jack coming like in. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, okay, so... Um, that's fine. We will X that off, and we're going to extend the bid by 10 seconds. This happens sometimes. So there we go. Up to $17 now. Uh, Kurtanjak, holy crap, man. Coming in. Haven't seen you for a while, buddy. 5,000 bits, man. Holy crap. Let's get some love there for Kurtanjak in the uh, chat. I thought you were going to wait for 225 to come up, man, but lots of hype and lots maybe of Maybe you've got more bits for that. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and time expires there with the lunch company taking it for twenty dollars. Better value than one hundred and fifteen, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so we'll confirm that one. Uh, speaking about international, let's do our other international. I think they're the only other non North American team, uh, and that is going to be team number seventy four ninety eight Wingus and Dingus from Auckland, New Zealand. I don't think that's how they really say it, but. We'll go with it for now. Uh, also, our highest number team uh, this year. And one of, uh, I believe, two rookie teams, if that's right. So, Wingus and Dingus, winners of the Canadian Pacific Regional. Uh, Buddy Glenn Lee on 359 could not speak highly enough about these people. They actually went to the Wisconsin Regional this year, which was crazy because I didn't get a chance to see them. And that was very disappointing. Uh, Robling out in the quarterfinals. Up to $18. Imagine paying 115 for 340 yeah. <laughs> $20. Mm. i got to show that off a little bit. More about this mug in a little bit, by the way, too. And sold to Robotics, 20 bucks. I think that's a pretty good value. It's not bad. Caitlin, how are you feeling about 20 bucks for Wingus and Dingus? I feel great about it. All right, that's awesome. <laughs> Everything's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Told you we go quick here. So, all right, next team uh, coming up, team number seven is you know, going to be just a team that might have won the world championship this year. I mean, I know there's a couple options to choose from, but we're going to start out with team number 217, the Thunder Chickens. 217. Curious to see what this team goes for. I really am. Um, uh, of course, three blue banners winning the Darwin Division as well this year in Maryville District uh, for them as well, too. $29 immediately up to 30 Had a rough start at the beginning of the season, by the way. Out in the quarterfinals twice in a row. Yeah, out twice in a row. Then goes to Marysville, takes it. Uh, goes to the Michigan State Championships, out in the semis in their division, and then just comes out, colors flying and looking fantastic, up to $36. Right now, our most expensive team has been 45 for Orbit. And there you go, $36 a pop cargo for a world champion team right there. Only at IRI, I tell you. So. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal, Tyler. We'll see. I almost, I couldn't like, I was, there's so many, so many options. I just <laughs> couldn't pull the trigger. If you're not first, you make last. All right, why not? <laughs> uh, next team coming up is going to be team number 2168, the Aluminum Falcons. 2168, record 61, 26 and 0 in official play. Uh, and if I remember correctly, uh, already won an off-season event. Uh, this year. Did they win? I don't remember now. 
I think they might have. No, they didn't win. They were, I think, finalists at Battle Cry. Okay, yeah. I suppose I could just like look, you know, but so, uh, semi finalists at Battle Cry, but they were okay. finalists at the Connecticut State Robotics Championship. So. Up to thirty two dollars already. Thirty six. Twenty one sixty eight. Just got an interview with them, by the way. You can check out the uh, behind the bumpers for that on our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash first updates now. And up to $40 for the Brian Griffins. I want to say the Brian's Griffin. It's like a little bit of a tongue twister there. Sold for $40. Lunar Falcons has been sold. We'll confirm that. Many more teams to go here, including some of the top teams in the world. Can't wait to meet them. But let's treat you to a team coming in from first mid-Atlantic. This is the first time I haven't said Mar, by the way. Maybe I'm finally training myself. <laughs> uh, it's going to be team number 1807. 1807 Redberg, Redbird Robotics. 58, 29, and 0 this year. And winners of the Ben Salem. I think that's how you pronounce it. Somebody can probably... Ben Salem? Ben Salem? Something like that. Ben Salem, I think it All is. Right. Uh, and then uh, out in the quarters at Kiri, uh, we're out in the semis at the Mid Atlantic Championship. Con- Connor says this, the 2160 interview is great. It was. You did a great job on that, man. It, it went actually really well. So $28 going back and forth between just okay and squad. And sold $28 for Red Bird Robotics. All right, next out of the gate is a team that won the Greater Kansas City Regional this year out of Missouri. That's going to be team number 5801, CTC Inspire 5801. Somebody just, like, dropped their keyboard. They're ready to bid. Uh, 5801, once again, coming out of Missouri. I don't know anything about Missouri robotics. I mean, there's a couple teams like the 86, <laughs> 87s, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, they're out in the semifinals of the Galileo Division this year, by the way. Uh, one Greater Kansas City out in the semis at Heartland uh, Regional this year as well, too. Expecting 2056 to go, to go last for $5. Hey, never know. Got to ride it out. Yeah, that's that's the strategy. Sold for $15. That's our cheapest team in the draft so far. So $15 is going to be a robotics and a nice value pick out of there. By the way, I do just want to point out that our winners of Battle Cry were the people who picked the cheapest teams and just had a crap ton of teams. I don't think that will happen here at IRI, but you never know. So. All right, next team is 2403 Plasma Robotics. 2403 from Mesa, Arizona with a record of 33 18 and 2 so once again 2403 no robot image i don't know what we think now mm. already go- they've already been devalued by ten dollars by me so. <laughs> uh but this team uh finalists at the arizona north regional uh arizona west finalists as well uh and finalists at turing so a lot of finalists here and so if you if you like the value for finalists you're probably in pretty good shape for this team. $17 by Squad Behind the Glass at the 18 by Robotics. $19. Are they worth any more? Nope. Sold for $19 to Squad Behind the Glass. I love Plasma, but that's a little too high. I was saying, I think, are they cargo only? I think they may be cargo exclusive. I tell I you, don't there's remember. no picture. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, I'm trying to remember. I may have them mixed up with another Arizona team because there's only like two of them. Yeah. I want to say you have them mixed. All right. Our next team uh, coming up is going to be team number 1747, Harrison Boiler Robotics, one of our local teams from West Lafayette, Indiana. 52, 34, and 2. Had a great 2018 season. Uh, 2019, they also won a Gainesville District event as well, too, so not too bad. Uh, except they won in PCH and not in their own district, which is interesting. 
Uh, but district event finalists at Center Grove, uh, Indiana, Indiana State Championships uh, finalists as well, too. Uh, out in four matches in the quarters uh, at championships on Tesla. So they're going to be worth up to 19 already. Some Missouri teams do go to Houston. I think they all go to Houston, don't they? Yeah, uh, I think they all do now. Like the yeah. first year when it was, yeah. Uh, sold for $19, by the way. Uh, next team coming up is a team that, uh, well, I had a great experience with in 2015. So we got to go to uh, Einstein with them as our uh, backup robot. And they've definitely come a long way from there, let me tell you. And that's going to be team number 4265, Secret City Wildbots. Secret City Wildbots. 4265 out of Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Oh, they're so interesting this year. Yeah, last year they had a, a, a two to three cube auto, I remember, and I didn't really get a chance to see them as much this year, but winter at Smoky Mountains. Well, this year they were like, their first event was rough, and then they turned it around and just came out swinging at their second one. Sure. Yeah, they were uh, first event, Rocket City out on the quarters in three. Smoky Mountains Regional uh, took the event at three matches in championships out in quarters on Noon Division. Mm-hmm. Up to eighteen dollars now by the lunch company for team number forty two sixty five, Secret City Wildbots. Uh Mr. McMax says in chat forty two sixty five will be rocking six Neos, by the way. Uh eighteen dollars and sold for eighteen to the lunch company. Let's bring out a Hall of Fame team. How do we feel about that, guys? Why not? Yes. Yes, let's do it. And they're from Michigan, so that excites PJ even more. Uh, oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be team number fifty one, Wings of Fire. Technically the Wings of Fire, I guess, but fifty one Wings of Fire, forty nine thirty I'm sorry, forty two, twenty two, and one this year. And bidding opens up. Winners of Troy District uh, event uh, as well. They're finalists at center line. Michigan State Championship out in the quarters in their division. Darwin out in the quarters in their division. Uh, ranked ninth in their division this year, though. Up to seven, excuse me, up to seventeen dollars now. Eighteen dollars for robotics. And eighteen dollars going once, twice sold. Two robotics for eighteen dollars. That was team number fourteen, by the way, the fourteenth team in our draft. And that was team number 51, The Wings of Fire. Never knew there was a the behind it. All right, guys, get your checkbooks open if you even know what that is. Uh, because coming up next is a team that I know you're going to spend all your money for. And that 55 11. is 5511. You are correct. Uh, very nicely done. By the way, Golfer, thanks for those 15 bits. Uh, 5511 uh, is on the docket now, coming up with the bid. $200. 200. <laughs> Everybody was saying $200 head of chat. I've been saving all my money for this. And Makes here sense. they go. <laughs> uh, 41, 27, and one in official play uh, this year. Uh, up to $7 uh, for bidding. Uh, winners of Wake County District in North Carolina. Pembroke out in the finals. North Carolina Championship out in the finals. And Galileo out in quarters this year. $13 for Popped Cargo. PJ, where's your beautiful bids? I'm waiting. Yeah, no accidental bids in this one. It, it will be binding, by the way. Yeah. But instead, they are our lowest priced team so far. At fourteen dollars, that's all I need. I can quit right now. There you go. <laughs> my class is going out with eight sixty eight fifty five eleven. That's all I need. That's all Solid. we need. Cup of Joe, tap nice. it out. I'm, I'm sure Cup of, go, Cup of Joe is so glad that McLass is uh, captaining now for them. <laughs> well, Probably not. You know, guys, how I talked about how you should get your, uh, in this, I said checkbooks, right? I don't dating myself. Getting them ready. Well, it's really time to get them ready because up next is the legendary 2056 OP Robotics is coming up 64, 6, and 1. Of course, have that heartbreaking exit in the semifinals. Uh, but they've won IRI, I think, more times than anybody else. So uh, I have a feeling that, yeah, $50 is going to be that initial bid right away. Where are we going to go? 65, 66. Is, it, is any team worth that much? We'll find out. 
Teens get two hundred dollars to spend up to sixty-eight seventy dollars for twenty fifty-six. OP Robotics four blue banners this year. Chairman's Award two. Of course, that incredible Kiri Division semifinal matches. Some of the best matches. Uh, back and forth I've ever seen. I mean, especially after you wait for a forklift to come in and fix the lighting for about 45 minutes. It made those matches even better. $75 for the boys club. Chat, let us know how much do you think 2056 is worth uh, in chat. You have $200. How much of your budget do you spend on them? Brian Griffin say $76 and sold for $76. That's the first team. The second team there for the Brian Griffins has twenty one sixty eight and twenty fifty six with eighty four dollars left. Seventy six dollars. I mean, that's that's two of the twenty eighteen winners right there. There this you is go. What, One ninety five to round, round that out. <laughs> uh, Golfer four six four six says not worth seventy six dollars. Definitely too much. Says Necro Creature. Uh, so interesting to see. But let's bring up another uh, legendary team. Uh, team that man i thought was going to go a little bit farther both in chairman's and uh with the robot this year because definitely huge uh powerful forces on both let's see number 24 i mean 2468 uh coming through uh 2468 uh gotta love giving the crap for that uh two, four, six, eight. that's right baby uh 2468 though coach norm is expecting a minimum of 60 dollars in bids for this team so let's see how they do 54 16 and oh this year Winners of the Austin District, Greenville District, and a Chairman's Award at Austin District, but not at not at Fit Championships. Man, I mean, nothing against a team that, that won Fit Championships, but Jesus, how do you not how do you not give the two four six eight? Crazy. Thirty six dollars for questionable decision makers. And almost sold there, but Maple Lions comes in at thirty seven. Maple Alliance looking to take it 37 and sold for $37 to the Maple Alliance. Uh, taking their second team now. Next team uh, coming up, uh, which I thought was a team from uh, Mexico, but it's not. Uh, it's team <laughs> number uh, 6443 AEM bot. It kind of looks like it'd be a Mexico team name. That's why I said that, but they're actually from the PNW. Uh, 6443. And this team here, 54, 31, and 0. This is the hatch only bot, I believe, based on the picture that they have. So uh, they definitely look uh, hatch only. And $12 uh, out of the gate right away. Uh, by the way, Nick Cousins with the subscribe. Thanks, sir. Says 33 is worth $99. 33 for each robot that oh, will have three climb in the Elam's love... Alliance. They are tiny. I love this picture. They're adorable. <laughs> Their robot is so cool. I love them. Do you love them three dollars? Yeah, look at those oh, section only cups. Only three dollars. <laughs> oh, well, up to twenty-two already for robotics. They are they're the um, uh, milk and knights of this year. That's what they look like. Oh, the team that does that awesome flip on Hab Three. That's right. Uh, sold there for twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two dollars going to robotics. So Caitlin takes uh, her fourth team already. Uh, two teams with four. A couple teams still don't have anything yet, but we'll see how it plays out. I'm trying my best, Tyler. Yes. Well, PJ, I got one of your favorite teams coming up here. So let's uh, at least I think they are. And you can just say they are because it probably looked bad if you said no. But uh, coming up next uh, from Michigan is team number 4362, Gems. I uh, do love that. Okay, good. So I thought so. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you had me, you came with me to do a behind the bumper in 2018 for them. Yeah. Uh, so 4362 Gems from Brighton, Michigan. Uh, is coming up next four three six two. Uh, sixty twenty five and four in official play this year. Uh, three blue banners this year, including the Michigan District Championship, uh, and of course the division for that, and also the Jackson District. Uh, Carson an early exit though, out in the quarters, but already up to thirty six dollars by Cup of Joe. And moving up to $39, $40, $40 for the gems. And it's two seconds going, going, and gone. The Cup of Joe for $40. 
that was our 19 team of the draft. We're going to take a break after this next team uh, coming up here. Uh, so Cup of Joe secures their third team. Next team coming up, one of our local teams and a, a great supporter of fun and a couple awesome people uh, on that team as well. It's going to be team number 1720, the Fix Gears, coming in from Muncie, Indiana. 1720 Fix Gears. Uh, of course, maker of the Bat Hawks that we uh, always hawk on this show uh, for you. Uh, but awesome, awesome device. Cool team, cool robot. Uh, can't wait to see where they go for here. And $15 immediately for just okay robots. Just gonna snipe, just gonna take it right away. Defend a bid there. Oh, up to 16 though. Pop cargo can't let them have it. The team did have a WFFA award this year uh, out in the semis in their first one, finalists in their second event, uh, finalists in their third. Uh, and by the way, Pop Cargo takes it uh, for. So that's $16 Pop Cargo you spent on that? Yep, 16. Uh, I hit confirm before I wrote it down. So. Okay, all right, so we are through 20 teams in the draft already. It goes by quick, I know. Uh, but with that said, we're going to do a quick uh, check-in. So we're going to just uh, check in with each team here. Uh, a couple of our uh, live teams don't even have teams picked yet. Uh, we're just going to ask them how, how they feel, and if another team wants to chime in afterwards to uh, compliment or razz them, feel free. Uh, just make sure you take turns with so many people in chat. So starting off, Pop Cargo has $148 left. You have team number 217 and 1720. How are you feeling so far? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, I feel like I got good, got good values for both teams. Um, you know, we'll see. I think I'm uh, I'm doing all right right now. All right, the boys' club still uh, no teams left. So we're just going to skip you for now. We're assuming that you're biding your time. Questionable decision makers in the same boat as well too. So biding their time with two hundred dollars. Uh, Caitlin on robotics. You have fifty one wings of fire, fifty eight oh one CTT inspire, sixty four forty three AAM bot, and seventy four ninety eight wing gets and dingus. Four teams for only seventy five bucks. Caitlin, not too shabby. Yeah, we're feeling pretty good about it right now. Um, just hoping it keeps going in this direction. Yeah, I think keep getting teams for that value. Why not? Uh, Cup of Joe, 122 bucks left. You got three teams, 868 Tech Hounds, 4362 The Gems, and 5511 Cortex Robotics. I mean, if you ask me, man, 5511 already worth uh, the $100, uh, so you're in good it, shape it, already. I could have paid 200 but no one wanted to go higher. <laughs> but it's pronounced Aimbot. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, no doubt, man. So good luck to you. Uh, just in case Robotics will skip as they don't have any teams left. Uh, TLC. Uh, has $127 left. They have $340, Greater Rochester Robotics, $3847 Spectrum, and $4265 Secret City Wildbots. TLC, how you doing? So we feel pretty good so far. Uh, we noticed that we slightly overpaid with Spectrum, but we made up for it with $340. So we're going to see how the rest of the draft goes. All balanced out there. Maple Alliance, $118. You have uh, 1690 Orbit and 2468 Team Appreciate with 118 left. Yeah, uh, so for our budget, we're un underneath for both. We were supposed to, our highest was 50 for orbit, and we were under for that. And 2468, there were what, five again? It was pretty good. All right, no doubt. Yeah, definitely team setting their budgets. And uh, if you can come in under that, then that's good for you, and we'll see how it plays out. Uh, Brian Griffins uh has 84 dollars left uh, with uh, 2056 op robotics of course lots of money for that in 2168 the aluminum falcons how are you feeling so far about yours uh i'm pretty confident right now but uh anyone who thinks i'm trying to make the 2019 or 2018 alliance that's not my plan <laughs> Well, hopefully your plan is to win the draft, and we'll see how that works out for you. Uh, last but not least, we have uh, Squad Behind the Glass and Amber, so the color's a little off on my monitor. Uh, but 1747 Harrison Boiler Robotics, uh, 1807 Redbird, 2403 Plasma, 5190 Green Hope Robotics. Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good. Uh, I spent a lot of money out of the gate, but I think I got some really solid teams and avoided overpaying for a lot of them, so we'll see how it goes. All right, well, good luck to all teams. We're going to keep moving on here. Uh, in through this draft by the way welcome to everybody who's watching uh, live on here if you need more uh, assistance what's going on hit exclamation draft rules uh, we'll give you just a brief description of what's going on here and don't forget you'll have an opportunity to pick your own teams based on the prices that that these live draft teams are picking uh, it's like DraftKings minus the gambling and all the sue happiness that we might get so uh, but just like that otherwise so but we'll set prices you'll get to pick uh, with your own $200 and then uh, the team uh, that gets most on the points is actually going to win a Cooler Master uh, MS120 keyboard and mouse kit. 
Moving on there, a team number, our 21st team in the draft is going to be team number 2075, Enigma Robotics 2075. Uh, so this team here coming out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, 44-19-2 in official play this year. I know they're PJ, one of PJ's favorite teams. I do like them. Well, they do have a district win at Alpinia, number one. That was their first event. Four Hills out in the semifinals. Um, MSC out in the semis in their division. Daily out in the quarters. Up to $23. Does PJ like them so much that he's going to take them is the real question. Mm. I mean, he, he bid 16. <laughs> yeah, but he bid 16 can, and he stopped bidding. Can he double his range? Say, Let's see. 32, PJ. Come on. I like them. Doesn't mean I like them $30. That's fair. <laughs> All right. And sold for $29 in the draft. Uh, just a heads up, if you guys are PMing, me, just holler oh, host. It's very hard for me to see this stuff uh, during show. Just a heads up, please. Uh, so $29 uh, being sold to Just OK Robotics. All right, our next team coming up is team number 4776. Scott Spots out of Howell, Michigan. 4776 Scott Spots. There's your team right there. Let's see if we get a little bit better picture of them. Oh, that's the only one they got. Uh, the 4776 uh, right there uh, with 40, 24, and 1 in official play this year. Coming up $10 right away by Maple Alliance. Up to 15 now, $16. 17. This team, uh, two Chairman's Award winners, including at MSC. Uh, winners of Lansing District as well. Uh, didn't they did not play at MSC? They played at MSC. Oh, they did play at MSC. Oh wait, oh wait. Yeah, they're no, on the, they yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're on the quarters at MSC. They That's won a right. state championship Sherman's award, I believe. Yeah, they did. Ah, gotcha. Uh, and sold for twenty dollars. This team were finalists as well too in the Archimedes division. So twenty dollars for a division finalist in Scott Spots. I see what Anthony's strategy was. He's just waiting for the Michigan teams. Of, co of course, I considered naming my team uh, just Michigan bots, but. Should have just been Michigan. Just, Michigan. just Michigan. Yeah, just Michigan. All right, uh, next one coming up is team number 548, Robo Stangs, 548. Uh, 47, 26, and 2 this year. And coming out of Northville, Michigan. So many Michigan teams. Let's see, did we put all the Michigan teams in one block? Well, isn't like a third of them are Michigan going to Hockey Rise, something like that? It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this year, 548 uh, winners uh, at their division uh, for uh, MSC, and then also winners on the Tesla division this year, uh, and sold already for 25 bucks. Not too bad for a uh, two division winner there. But we'll see how they play out. Anthony knew what he wanted, and he went for it. Yeah, that's the same. I got it a little bit cheaper. You never know. Uh, I, so I don't know why anyone tried to never tried to counter me on it. <laughs> I thought about it. Well, here's, your, here's a team, guys, that we might just want for nostalgia's sake. And the reason for that is, well, this will be their probably their last competition ever. Maybe Chessy Champs. Uh, but otherwise, uh, this could be it, guys. And that's team number 330, the Beach Bots. Uh, coming up, looking to make a huge uh, exit here uh, as this is their last season. Uh, so 330, the Beach Bots. Uh, can't wait to see them. We got a chance to interview them at championships. Wow, what a great group. Uh, Shane and the rest of the crew there, absolutely fantastic. Uh, but here comes the beach bots. Let's see what they do. Thirty-three dollars right away for just OK Robotics. Thirty-four beach bots had a pretty darn good season this year. Not to mention uh, with two blue banners, got a Woody Flowers uh, finalist award as well too. And the Carvers out in the semis. Uh, yep, semis and Carver this year. Uh, Forty-four dollars for Cup of Joe. Forty-five for the Boys Club. Wow, this team definitely climbing up. Maybe somebody sees greatness in them here at IRI. Maybe they just really want a team that's on their lab. Like if seventeen seventeen came up, I wonder how much they go for all of a sudden, right? Even if they weren't playing. Uh, $48. PJ coming in, actually willing to spend some money. Two seconds. One, 49. Just a reminder, guys, please don't wait till one second to rebid if you don't mind. 49 for the boys club. My bad on that. That was the last second decision. That's all right. Um, but sold. You get it. So $49 uh, 
going to the boys club, taking legendary 330. Let's go up to Canada, eh? And uh, check out one of the great teams uh, from up north. Uh, that is going to be team number 1241. Theory 6, 1241. Great, great team here. 54-16 and 0 this year. By the way, chat, let us know what you feel about values uh, in chat. Are people overbidding or underbidding? Let us know what you pay for them. Uh, but 1241, holy cow, of course, winners of the Ontario District Championship. Uh, winner uh, McMaster as well, too. Uh, Woody Flowers, uh, finalist award at uh, Ontario District Championship. And, uh, you know, at the at, at uh, Kerry, uh, kind of had a tough go uh, there with how they got picked up uh, and end up uh, losing to the 987, 27, 67, 17, 56 alliance in the semis. Uh, $35 for Pop Cargo. But they did win the autonomous award, guys, so keep that in mind. Hashtag value. $35. Wow. I know, right? $35. I, I'll take that all day. I think it's a great pickup. So uh, $35 uh, for 1241 going to Pop Cargo. All right, next team, another local team uh, coming up on the gate. That's team number 461, West Side Boiler Invasion. A couple people in chat saying 1241 is a steal at that uh, price point. We'll see. Uh, but 461, West Side Boiler Invasion is your next team. 34, 24, and 2. This team is out of West Lafayette, Indiana. And uh, Blue Banners this year, but for Chairman's Awards, not for uh, Robot Performance. Out in the quarters. Uh, then finalists at their districts, out in the semis at their district championship, and were not picked uh, in the carry division this year. To be fair, it is a tough division. <laughs> but sold for $17. Uh, square behind, squad behind the glass, not square. Squad behind the glass uh, takes it, uh, and that is their fifth team there for $17. We're going to keep rolling on here. I like this pace we're doing, guys. Nicely done. Uh, next team coming up is... Well, you know, I wonder who's going to be bidding on them, but it's uh, Team 107, Team Robotics. Uh, so Robotics already has $125 ready to go for this, uh, but we'll see. Uh, 107 coming up on the gate. Uh, and 40, 20, and 2 this year. Uh, only Blue Banner for Chairman's Award this year uh, at Alpena, number 2. Uh, but out in the semis in their first district, out in the finals in their second, uh, MSC out in the quarters in their division, and Kiri. Uh, out in the semis, they're part of the 2056-1114 alliance and subbed uh, back and forth uh, with their other alliance partner. It's $27 for robotics. Now, I, I, can we just get robotics to overpay? I mean, is that is that the goal here? I think just okay robotics. Yes, <laughs> definitely. That's actually Going out just okay, do another dollar. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. $29, though, going <laughs> for team robotics. You got your team. You got to be happy with that, Caitlin. Well, not your team, but the other person on your team's team. How about that? <laughs> All right. Uh, next team coming up is, how about another team? I think they're from Missouri, right? Mm, oh, no, Denver, Colorado. My apologies. Uh, from Denver, Colorado is team number 1410, the Kraken. 1410. Coming out from Denver, Colorado. 30, 18, and 0 this year in the draft. This draft is off the rails, says Nick. And bidding has opened. Uh, winners of the Colorado Regional this year. Uh, they won it with 16-19. Uh, Oklahoma Regional, they're out in the finals uh, as well, too. So not a bad performance by them. Roblin out in the quarters uh, for 14-10. Up to $12. Alex Rickard says way too much, even for the meme, uh, for uh, 107 uh, thirteen dollars for questionable decision makers. Could they go for thirteen? That would be a steal of the draft. Holy cow! Thirteen dollars, PJ. For fourteen. Yeah, I spent money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, it, fourteen cents is not like the best team out on the field, but man, I think they're definitely worth more than thirteen dollars. So, uh, so we'll see how that. Uh, Did Abby tell you to finally spend some money, PJ? No. Sure. I am a strong, independent man. I don't need Abby to tell me what to do. Yeah, I probably should have pulled the trigger there. She did tell me good job. There you go. So Abby validated me. <laughs> Bits of 225 is up soon. Uh, 
So Donnie, man, I it's hard, the bids already said I can't tell you where they're going. But the next one coming up, maybe they're soon. We'll see. Uh, next one coming up is team number nine thirty. Uh, PJ, how do you pronounce this city? McGuanago. There we go. McGuanago. It's it's pretty close. So uh, McGuanago Bears uh, coming out of McGuanago, Wisconsin. Uh, so team number nine thirty. You got to ask yourself. Of course, if I don't say this, there's going to be time. Yeah. What time is it? By the way, uh, I did notice. Could you? Could I did you notice. Fourteen minutes. Someone bid ninety three. Um, I did notice that laser lights that the MC did not do the what time is it thing. And I was very uh, disappointed by that. As a Wisconsin MC, uh, I guess you know better. I don't know who the MC was when I saw that, though. But introduced him as 930 and not the what time is it thing. I remember that guy. I was just saying. All right. Uh, $31 for Pop Cargo. 32 for Questionable Decision Makers. Bid 279. You can't do that much. Uh, 930, of course, uh, I think a, a team that, uh, of course, uh, people like to give me crap about because I didn't give enough credit uh, going into uh, being a finalist at Worlds. But I'm going to be honest with you, if anybody thought that beforehand, I think you're a little crazy. But absolutely came out firing, looking absolutely fantastic. Sorry, let me transition over there. $36 uh, there as time expires but 9 30 uh you know that wonky arm man i tell you it performs well and uh it was awesome to see them uh go back and forth on einstein and uh as a wisconsinite and uh somebody who was on a team that went to the world finals in wisconsin definitely rooting for 9 30 to take it all there uh, and definitely gave uh jeff fencer maker and the fielders a, a firm handshake uh afterwards as well but 36 dollars uh for pj and addy and the qu- questionable decision makers oh pj's breaking out the dusty checkbook I'm only older than most of the people in here. <laughs> Except me. Good for uh, you. That was 36 bucks, right, PJ? Yeah, All I right. think. Yes. All right, cool. I don't know. I'm just spending money now. <laughs> We're just spending it. Uh, next scene coming up, one, one of our uh, local teams here, uh, team number 1024, Kilobytes, 1024, 31, 27, and 1. Also one of the host teams at IRI as well. Nick Cousins says, I think 930 was an overspend. Um, Nick, after, I can't do both. <laughs> uh, ten dollars, by the way, out of the gate for ten twenty-four. Uh, Necro creature says I think nine thirty is going to get picked earlier than maybe. So that, definitely, that's a steal. I mean, it depends how far they go though, because they get picked early until like a six-seven alliance. You never know. Then again, they were on a five alliance, if I remember correctly, uh, at Einstein. Uh, kilobytes now our uh, lowest cost price team uh, for eleven dollars for the kilobytes. They were to be fair. I think they went really low last year, and then they ended up finalists. Yeah. So, like, Kilobytes has a has a way of getting like picked up as like the third robot in the alliance, and then. Though I think last year they were alliance captains. Yeah, they were captain. Yeah, were they? Yeah, yeah. they were um, captain. Nobody expected them. Made some really good picks. Yeah, no doubt. Speaking about uh, weird alliance captains, how about this team? A team that took themselves out of being the alliance captain was that two years ago? I think something like that. 2337 engineers they were the alliance captains decided not to play themselves uh and then got knocked in the quarters if i remember correctly at iri i think that was two years ago off the top of my head um uh, yeah 2337 this year 62 22 and one an official play definitely a great season uh record wise by them uh winner of forest hills district uh msc out in the semis darwin division out in the uh finals out in three on darwin uh, they were with 1690, by the way. Won the first match and then lost the next two uh, to the world champions. It's always crazy to think about how the tides would turn in that sort of thing, right? Like, this this alliance won the first match. And what if they just won the second? Like, would they be the world champions then? You know, of course, it doesn't necessarily play out this way, but it's just crazy to think that, that one, that you know, one, two points, one, two scores separate something like that, that greatness that comes out of it. Uh, twenty-five dollars going to questionable decision makers who just decided that, as they said, they've opened up the checkbook and are just ready to spend. Apparently, speaking about ready to spend, it's time to get your biddies out. I'm talking to you, Donnie, uh, and that's going to be uh, next up. Team number two twenty-five, Tech Fire, two twenty-five, oh, fifty, fifteen, and one. Uh, Pop Cargo already has a hundred dollars ready to spend. Uh, <laughs> so Tech Fire coming out uh, of the gate here. Head of... uh, Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not going to let someone bid me up here, so you all can go ahead and bid. All right, well, TLC is bidding 30 bucks already. 50, 15, and 1, though. That's a great record. Winners of uh, the FMA, the Mid-Atlantic District Championship. Uh, winners of Montgomery District. 
Uh, and out in the, it was the semis, right? At Darwin uh, Division, paired up with uh, 125. $32 for Pop Cargo. Says I'm not going to let somebody bid me up, but he was in the lead. I suppose that's not, well, really bid. that's not bidding up yet. I know. <laughs> First Capital RA3D, thanks for the, the bits there. Hope, hope we can do RA3D with you uh, next year. That was absolutely fantastic uh, flying out uh, to York to do that. $34 sold. Ben, you got to be happy yeah. for 34 bucks there, huh? Yeah, I know. I know we're worth that, so I'm good. All right. Yeah. Very good. Uh, all right. So next team coming up. So that was thirty-four dollars for team number two twenty-five, Techfire. Uh, next team coming up is out of Michigan. Oh, I just heard the beep. Donnie coming in eight hundred seventy-five bits. Thanks so much, man. Donnie, uh, one of our biggest supporters here on Fun, helps us keep going, helps us stay loud, live, independent. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget, uh, we rely on your donations. So if you have that free Twitch Prime sub, click that little button on top there. We'd love to uh, earn your credit for that uh, each month. Uh, always, it's just a few bucks a month that you can chip in, and it helps us so much to keep creating loud, light, and independent content. Uh, you can also get free bits, by the way. I uh, just want to say, if you watch a, a couple ads, you click the little bits thing, watch a couple ads, hey, we'll take 5, 10 bits at a time. We'll also take 875 at a time, too. Uh, but any amount, uh, we love you for it. So thank you so much, and thanks again to uh, uh, Donnie and his awesome donation. Uh, so next team uh, coming up is going to be from Michigan, 3357 Comets. So 3357, the Comets, with a record of 41, 28, and 1 this year. Uh, this team, no blue banners this year. I think a little surprising, uh, at least in my in my book here. But uh, finalists twice, uh, and then out in the quarters at uh, Michigan State's, um, and then Tesla out in the semifinals. Uh, they were with uh, twelve eighty five and forty nine seventeen. Twenty dollars for just okay robotics and sold for only twenty bucks. I think that's pretty decent value right there. Not the greatest season this year, but it's definitely not not bad value nonetheless. Uh, up to our 34th team in the draft. We're halfway there. 34th team in the draft. Thank you. More biddies coming in, by the way, from uh, Fidgen27. Uh, thank you so much. 500 bits there. Definitely appreciate your support. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, so Fidgen27, shout-outs to you. Uh, firm handshakes. I'm stealing Dr. Disrespect stuff because he came back today, and I love the doc. But, uh, but lots of hype, lots of woody flowers for you. Thank you so much. Uh, next coming up is going to be another Michigan team uh, who has a few more blue banners uh, than uh, what the previous one uh, we saw, and that's going to be team number 3538, the Robo Jackets, 3538. Uh, so a team that uh, I think is going to go for a pretty penny here uh, as we start the bidding in 10 seconds. 84, 18, and 3 this year in official play. That's how we do it. And a nice sub coming in, by the way, by uh, Nebulas, uh, WRL99. Thank you so much for that subscription. Uh, you get some free biddies you can use, or some biddies, uh, uh, emotes, sorry, uh, that you can uh, use. And you can use that, uh, by the way, when we have uh, stuff on TBA, uh, TBA chat and Fun Chatter 1. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that that way. $51 for the Boys Club uh, already. Five blue banners this year. Uh, looking so good. Carry Division. Uh, man, I watched I watched all those playoffs. I kept going back and forth, especially during that delay. But, man, Kiri was just hotness all over. Could not believe it, uh, how great that division was. $55 and sold. $55 bucks for the Robo Jackets going to the Boys Club. Boys Club picks up only their second team. But everybody has a team. That's good news, right? <laughs> it took us a while, but we got there. I mean, you don't have the lease. Uh, Maple Alliance and Boys Club have less than you, so. Yeah. Maple Alliance also used up half their money. Well, that, well that's true. So, <laughs> uh, next team coming up here is going to be uh, 5205 Full Metal Jackets. Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of this team. I'm not sure, uh, uh, PJ, if you can tell us maybe a little bit about Yeet these guys. Um, a lot of people know them from their 2018 robot, which was affectionately known as a Yeet Bot. It was a little tiny sure. robot that like had these little like hands. Basically, it would fling the cubes up on top of the scale. Um, I actually don't really know much about their... 2019 robot well they were winners of the lakeview district this year 36 yeah. 25 and 2 uh, throughout it as well so uh, yeah, necro creature tier one sub thank you very much for that uh, apparently many people don't know much about them as they went for only 13 dollars yeah <laughs> uh, nope, yeah nope. i hear full metal jackets and i think of the team from texas you know 1296 so 
All right, but here's a team uh, that might be well known outside the region, and no, it's not the team that decided. Well, they decided not to show up, so it can't be them, right? So, uh, twenty-seven ninety-one former IRI winners. Yes, uh, <laughs> IRI twenty IRI twenty nineteen winners twenty-seven. There we go. Called it right here on fun, right? Uh, so the next team coming up is going to be uh, how about a, another Kiri Division winner one ninety-five the Cyber Knights one ninety-five coming out. 70, 23, and 1. Uh, love the Cyber Knights, by the way. Uh, if you didn't see their IRI preview, we, we'll show it tomorrow as our pre-roll during the show. But they put out a pretty cool IRI preview uh, of uh, their things coming out. They always like to drop us a little uh, kind of cameo, which is great. So any fun host listening, if you didn't get a chance to see it, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, $40 for Pop Cargo for $195. You know, one of, $195 is going to be interesting. I'm not... Uh, it's it's always hard to rag on 195 because man six blue banners this year right it's a team that keeps performing even when people say they won't uh it'll be interesting to see how they end up end up doing uh they were finalists at the ct state rebox championship which uh and uh where's wolcott do they they didn't win that either i don't think so it, it makes me wonder are they using their regular drivers or not using regular drivers do they just come into other uh obstacles that sort of thing and battle cry out in the semis but they had to play against 2791, who's obviously well known outside the region. Well, to some people. <laughs> to some. <laughs> but how well known are they outside the region? Just like, just like, I was like poking that a little bit, you know. So. Are, are, any, are any of my shaky kids watching? I don't think they are. Who? Are my shaky kids. I think Connor my shaker, is. My shaker Who? kids. 2791. Who's that? Best active driver in FRC. Best, no, best, best former active <laughs> driver in FRC. Oh, yeah, he graduated. Yeah, Karan. Yeah. yeah, he did. All right, you guys want to spend some money? Let's spend some money. Yeah. How about with team number 1114, Symbotics? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, maybe not. So uh, 66, <laughs> 4, and 1, for some reason. They, they're like the 195 of Canada this year. People are like, oh, they're not as good as previous years. But 66, 4, and 1, guys, come on. Uh, of course, out in the semis uh, with 2056. Uh, but what a what a just amazing year uh, this year. Won the Ontario Provincial Championship this year as well, too. And $61 up to 62 Let's See if they can go for the most on there. Uh, Connor gifting uh, five tier one subs, uh, by the way. So thank you, Connor, for doing that. That's pretty awesome. Nine total gifted subs. So some of you guys just might have gotten gifted some subs there. Thanks to Connor. So make sure you uh, give uh, C. McBride 166. See, I said it right, you know, when you when you. Give subs. Course, the, then I'll say your name the right. Maple Alliance is going to go for them. They're all about the <laughs> team. Uh, so Maple Alliance takes them for sixty-six dollars. What did uh, what did twenty fifty-six go for? Not that many, I don't think. I thought they went for like. I, took, I thought they were like uh, seventy something. They went seventy-six. Maybe yeah, they did. I don't know. I'm bad with numbers. <laughs> so uh, so ten bucks. Yeah, I don't know how math works. I'm just going to say it the way I feel it. What's more math? More subs there. All right, definitely. I need. I feel like we. I feel like we're past the Will I M T S I M F D era, and we need to update the uh, sub thing at some point. But it's still fun to hear him uh, say that uh, whenever somebody subs. So, all right. Uh, next team coming up is from Michigan, from Temperance. Is that right? Yep. That Ten, sounds temperance. right. Temperance. All right. It's team number. It's team number thirty. Oh wait, ten twenty three. Uh, Bedford Express. So Bedford Express forty eight twenty and zero this year. As a member of the first Michigan district, they ranked eighth with 310 points. At least that's what TBA says. I was say, look, Tyler could read TBA. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing this whole time? What do you think our shows are? Tyler, do you want a cookie for that? Yeah, I wish I knew how to read. Yeah, see, way better, way better than PJ. That's why we don't get PJ scripts anymore. So no, <laughs> <laughs> mine's just uh, a lot of PJ just improv everything. No, it's just a lot of pictures yes. to remind me, and then and then Nick Cousins has to keep me on a. The, the uh, script is actually wish. a pictographic for PJ the whole time. So. Yeah, it's, it's just it's colors. <laughs> yes, um, twenty four dollars sold for uh, Bedford Express. So, uh, next team coming up is a former world champion. That's team number sixteen seventy six, Pascac Pioneer sixteen seventy six, uh, coming out. A former world champion, right? Uh, 60, yeah. 20, and three. Actually, this is probably one of the best records they've had, uh, I would guess, at 60, 20, and three. Uh, so $16 for TLC uh, won the Waterbury District up in New England this year. 
Necro Creature says uh, $24 is an alright price for them, so not too bad. Brian told me I'm not allowed to bid on them. No. <laughs> well, they only went Why? for 17 bucks. <laughs> Sucks to be you, PJ. They're mine. <laughs> Good, you could have PJ, them. Thought, okay. PJ, Thanks, thought you were PJ. an independent man. What is this crap? <laughs> <laughs> she got you there. Brian is my... Brian's in charge of me. <laughs> Ryan's so that just boss. contradicts your earlier statement of you being an independent man. I'm independent from Abby, not from Brian. Mm. Next team coming up uh, is a, uh, one of our host teams, local team 234, Cyber Blue. Cyber Blue from Indianapolis, Indiana. 60-19-0, uh, oh, pretty darn good record this year by Cyber Blue. Uh, winners of the Indiana District Championship. Uh, Howard Carson falling in the quarterfinals, ranked 10. $14. For a cup of Joe. How did Bedford do after their first event? I don't know. They did well. I don't think they won another event, but they were uh, they were very consistent this year. They have a swerve drive, I believe, their first time doing it. Uh, they ranked one at their second event, were high rank at both their other events, but I think they bounced in quarters at Worlds because they were in Curie, which is just a rough time to be. Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, $18 were... for 234 they were finalists at Jackson, right? I think so. That sounds right. Uh, sold for $18, 234 Cyber Blue. Uh, here's a team that uh, at Battlecry, they were, uh, I think, a very interesting pick. I think people want to know where a team like this is going to go. Can they, uh, with their success that they had on the carry division, shutting down 1114 and 2056, can they go for a good price at IRI? And that's team number 1073, the Force team. Who's coming up for bid? 33, 32, and 2 overall in official play this year. Of course, a defensive bot. Uh, that was 1073, or that is 1073. Uh, absolutely shutting down. So how much is defense worth here? Do they have – I mean, they do have some offensive capabilities as well, too, and I think people forget that. Uh, Ryan, boys, did boys you club with, Boys Club is $11. So, uh, so Boys Club, 11 bucks, 12 bucks for Pop Cargo. That's actually Eric. Um, he's just – He's just pretty, one number he's, worse than me. Yeah. <laughs> Identity theft is not a joke, Aaron. Mm. Lum fourteen went for sixty six dollars, so therefore ten seventy three should go for sixty seven. Not sure that right, will that's be how, the case. That's how that works, right? Yeah. That would be if, if Nick was actually in the auction draft. What do you do? But only fifteen dollars. Wow. Yeah. Nick's not in the draft. He's just yelling at me for my choices. <laughs> uh, boy, boys club takes their uh, next team there. Uh, for fifteen. Yeah, we've got two of the robots who beat eleven fourteen. So you know, like <laughs> whatever. Boy, boys club, you won that, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I was trying to. <laughs> I couldn't see it in my thing. Like I was missing it for some weird reason. So, all right, that was fifteen dollars. Uh, next team is going to be one of our teams from Michigan. One of the eight hundred <laughs> teams from Michigan. Uh, that's going to be team number seventeen eighteen. Seventeen eighteen, the Fighting Pie. Hey, we only have five hundred some teams in Michigan. We're not at 800 yet. No doubt. Give it two years. I don't know where we keep finding these schools. Like, Gil <laughs> Alpert's like a mad genius. $16 for a cup of Joe. Uh, 1718, by the way, uh, has four blue banners this year, two of them for chairmans, uh, winners of Gibraltar uh, and Troy district events. $19. Uh, championships uh, out in the semis. Ranked 23 at championships. Uh, $21 for Cup of Joe. 1718 should be higher, suck flying. Two seconds, going, going, gone, and sold for $22. Going to just okay robots. They've got a suck climb, but it's not the best suck climb. And the rest of their game isn't, like, super strong. It's still a suck climb, though. I mean, yeah. So it's I mean, not like side pole suck climb? It's, it's, it sucks, but it doesn't suck suck. Uh, it's a suck flop climb. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot happening in their climb. Let me put it that way. Uh, next team is 5460 Strike Zone. Uh, who I could have had him for two. How sad. <laughs> Almost got him. If I wanted to say anything. Uh, 
number one seed in the Archimedes division. However, knocked out in quarters in three matches. Uh, absolutely huge upset uh, coming in there. Uh, they were with 2041, uh, who will be coming up a uh, leader on this draft as well, too. Uh, so I think it was a surprise to many. Um, some issues on that alliance still. Some breakdowns uh, didn't help uh, with that. But our uh, co-host Justin on 3015, their team uh, uh, with their alliance took them down in the quarters. At uh, MSC, by the way, uh, won uh, their division as well. And they were finalists? Yeah, finalists. So $46 to the boys club taking strike zone for 46 all right, here's the, here's the Canadian 930 if you uh, watch our stuff and want to give me crap again. Uh, 5406 Celtics is your next uh, team coming up, uh, paired up with 930, of course, too. Uh, 5406 uh, coming up to the bid, 63, 16, and 1 for Celtics this year. Uh, of course, uh, winners of the Archimedes Division also won the Ryerson University uh, District event as well. Uh, and then uh, championship finalists, no doubt, uh, by one point. I'll go down as one of the best finals ever. Also, some of the more controversial finals. Well, no doubt, but I mean, <laughs> but I, I mean I it could be worse than a tie. This <laughs> but yeah. that's more of a technical thing, though, I guess, right? Yeah. But uh, thirty-eight dollars for Cup of Joe taking it. Cup of Joe is eighty-seven dollars left. Team with the most amount of money right now is TLC with 127, followed by Questionable Decision Makers at 126. Um, I also forgot to take a break, but I think we're just going to keep rolling here. Uh, we'll go uh, a little bit longer and we'll take a break. So, uh, Crap, what did 5406 go for? Like 38, who, I think it was. Who won them? I think it was 38. Yeah, it was 38. 38. Okay. Yeah, 38. All right, I'll go and re-verify this afterwards anyways. But, uh, thank you, though. Uh, all right, so next team coming up, I know is a uh, – PJ is uh, just a little bit of a fan of this team. How about, PJ, tell me about team number 910 a little bit. Um, they're a team. They are from Michigan. Wow. They are blue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no they, uh, this is their first year really doing Swerve Drive. Um, we've got one of the most automated robots, like, in first this year. Um, pretty PJ's impressive. PJ's declining to mention 2015. I said the first real year. Well, real, real year is good enough for $36 to questionable decision makers. Uh, so PJ must know something about them. Uh, but picking up 910, I think 910 had a, a disappointing early exit uh, in the quarters at Archimedes Division. Some weird alliance selections, I think, led to that. Uh, there were some miscommunications, and yeah. from what I hear. <laughs> like, Wave thought 910 was going to decline them, so they didn't ask them to type deal or something like that. Yeah. I can't remember exactly. I've heard something a little bit different, out. but I don't want to say it on air. So. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, $36, uh, PJ uh, taking that one with his team with PJ and Abby. So we'll confirm that. Uh, our next team is our 46 team. This team I'm a big fan of. They got a pretty sexy robot this year uh, and really uh, starting to come out of the gate a bit more outside of Michigan. And that's team number 1684, Chimeras. I love them. Or if you're from where I am, you call it Chimeras because it's a hobby shop called that for some reason. Chimeras. Black elevator gang. There you go. All black, baby. $16 uh, going for them. There's a behind the bumpers for this team as well. You can well, probably about two thirds of the teams there's behind the bumpers for it. But, <laughs> and we're going to get the rest of them at, uh, at IRI as well, uh, or a decent chunk of them. Uh, $22 for TLC. Uh, winners of the Traverse City District won a Chairman's Award as well, too. It carries out in the quarterfinals in that tough carry division. The Chimichangas. Yes, that's what they're affectionately called. Oh, yeah. That's actually, I think that's their. Vex team is the Chimichangas oh. because they get called it so much. Like uh, Joel Hurd, one of our uh, Michigan GAs, actually calls them the Chimichangas. There was one off-season event where we called the, the announcer called them everything, every different men, menu item off of the Taco Bell menu. Nice. Just... Uh, next team coming up is going to be forty six oh seven CIS out of Minnesota. I think they are they the only Minnesota team. I think so, huh? Um, but uh, winners of the Carson division uh, this year with CIS. Um, we're, I think, a backup team on that alliance because uh, they only played once. Oh, I just totally just missed this one happening. I just like. Well, you were talking too much. Yeah, sorry. and that happened. So they get sold for twenty bucks. It's just okay, robotics. 
Good well, job, PJ. Good job. Told you we could go in. <laughs> they were worth more than that. I've got I've got well, the ADD guys. All right, our next team uh, coming up from Burlington, Ontario, Canada. Mmm, robotics. Uh, <laughs> MM Robotics uh, coming out. <laughs> Uh, MM Robotics, by the way, 47, 18, and 1 in official play. Just Kebab 83 says they played in finals, but I think they only played once. Yeah, they only played they played finals two and finals three in the Carson division, but then they only yeah, played no. they yeah. only played once 40... on Einstein. Yeah, that was a whole big thing. Yeah. Uh 21 bucks, by the way, so far. Cup of Joe for mm, Robotics. And sold for $21. Pretty good value there for a team that's 47, 18, one winners of the uh, Durham College District event. Uh, next team coming up, pretty sure we got an interview with these guys, uh, is going to be team number 3604, the Goon Squad. 3604. Goon Squad. Goon Squad represent right here, baby. Uh, so 47, 28, and two in official play this year. Uh, winners of the Michigan District Championship this year. Uh, out in the quarters at Darwin Division, did get a chance to play at Big Bang and out in the semis for that this year. And $19 sold to just OK Robotics. This might be one of the quick, quickest drafts ever for uh, how many teams we have. It's going well. Our 50th team out of 68 is uh, one of my favorites, I think, to take this event, especially if they uh, don't have any breakdown issues. Uh, and that's going to be team number 2767, Strike Force. 2767, Strike Force. Uh, who I, I actually, as much as I love the alliance that won Carson, I think if they didn't break down, I think they would have taken Carson. Or not, Kiri, sorry. Um, through, through this as well. They had some, they had some major mechanical issues uh, in the finals. Uh, they think prevented them from uh, advancing. N nothing against the team that won. Love the teams that won, but uh, definitely a disappointment on their end, I'm sure. Uh, there were Alliance captains ranked second, by the way. Wins 29-10. It wins 29-10. 29-10 is on Pacific time. you got to wait longer. That's not how it works. But, uh, <laughs> the value right there. That's exactly how it works. Yeah. Holy crap, $37 all they go for? That is, people are yeah, running out of money. Value. People are running out of money, I think. Uh, so TLC takes it for $37. Who has a lot of money? PJ's going to buy 29-10 for 3 bucks. <laughs> Maybe so. Uh, yeah, guys, That's I mean, the dream. 18 teams left, everybody. Keep that in mind. Your, your money might be running low. Uh, how about our team from Mexico? Let's bring them in. Uh, Lambot uh, coming in. We had a pretty spectacular season. Uh, 3478 Lambot. Uh, so we're going to start the bidding for that. 48, 16, and 0. Four blue banners, three of them uh, for Robot, one for Chairman's. Uh, winners of the uh, Monterey Regional. Uh, also won at the uh, Regional de Ciudad de Mexico. Uh, and uh, Utah Regional uh, won that as well. Uh, and then Turing Division out in the quarters. So won every regional they went to, including a non-Mexico uh, non one. $10 for just OK Robotics. 11 to pop to cargo. And... Eleven dollars sold. Wow. I mean, guys, I know they're from uh, not the U.S. and Canada, which means that they typically go for lower. But holy cow, eleven bucks! I, just, I, mm, I don't know. Let's see, money's running low, right? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, next team uh, coming up here. So, Lambot went for eleven. Our next team up on the gate. It's going to be uh, another team uh, from Missouri, and this team number 1730, Team Driven, 1730. <clears throat> from Lee Summit, Missouri, 32, 16, and 1. Along with the blue banner this year for winning the Greater Kansas City Regional. Uh, Heartland Regional out in the finals, uh, and then Train Division out in the quarters. Uh, and then uh, they also won the uh, Missouri State Championship this year as well, too. By the way, if you are joining us, you don't know what's fully going on, feel free to type in exclamation uh, draft or exclamation draft rules. I think either one of those work uh, to give you a little description. But these teams have $200. Uh, Pop Cargo looking to take a steal for $10 here. 
and ten dollars now becomes our lowest priced team teams are starting to time their wall a little bit that's gonna be interesting for the pick em guys uh when that comes to but ten dollars going to uh popped cargo uh we'll take one last break by the way uh right before 55 if i remember to do it let's do a quick rundown and then we'll finish up and do a final rundown there <clears throat> actually let's do it now um since we're going through <laughs> teams are starting to run out of money so we'll uh check in with them so pop cargo only 11 bucks left but 195 217 225 1241 1720 1730 34 ben you're filled up pretty quick there hey i take the steals where i can get them no doubt uh boys club uh 35 left has 330 1073 35 38 and 54 60 only four teams boys club can you get one more yeah, we're hoping we can get another one. We think we got some good hard hitters, some top teams, so we'll see how the rest of this goes. No doubt. Questionable decision makers, four teams with you, ninety dollars left, nine, ten, nine, thirty, fourteen, ten, and two, three, three, seven. Ninety dollars left. You've got at least a couple more teams than you, I think, PJ. Yeah, I've got a couple. Um I've got a couple I've got my eyes on that I've been waiting for actually this entire time that just haven't come up yet. So oh, I'm man. happy. I'm happy with where we're at because it looks like we've got the most money except for one other team. So I'm hoping down the stretch we can uh, start collecting some steals. Yeah. And then one other team is uh, Robotics with $96. It's 51, 107, 58, 01, 64, 43, and 74, 98. Uh, Caitlin, lots of money left for you now. Uh, yeah. Us, uh, like PJ, we have our eyes on a couple of other teams that just haven't come up yet. And maybe I'm sure they'll be last. Don't worry about it. So, uh, uh, next coming up, uh, Cup of Joe, twenty eight dollars left. Two, three, four, eight, sixty eight, sixteen, seventy six, twenty two hundred, forty three, sixty two, fifty four, oh six, fifty five, eleven. I'm feeling pretty confident. It's a pretty full lineup there, and you might even be able to snag one more team, possibly. Uh, maybe, maybe three. Two. Never. Maybe three. <laughs> yeah, if you keep going for ten bucks. You know, so. Uh, just okay. Robotics, Anthony, thirty-two dollars left. Uh, five forty-eight, seventeen, eighteen, twenty seventy-five, thirty-three fifty-seven, thirty-six oh four, forty-six oh seven, forty-seven seventy-six, fifty-two oh five. That's a lot of teams uh, on your uh, what do we call that alliance roster? Whatever we call it. Yeah, I think I've gotten like a lot of really good value picks and not really any awful picks. I don't think. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping I can keep the. All right, uh, TLC, uh, sixty-three dollars left. Plenty of uh, space for a couple more teams there. Three forty, sixteen eighty-four, twenty-seven sixty-seven, thirty-eight forty-seven, and forty-two sixty-five. We're feeling pretty good to steal the common answer of the night. Um, we have our eyes on a couple of teams that <laughs> haven't popped up yet, but knowing you, Tyler, it'll probably be last. Probably so. It is truly random, by the way. I just want to say that. Like, I, I only run it once, and that's what it is. So, uh, Maple Alliance, $52 uh, left. Only three teams, though, Maple Alliance, uh, with 11 14 60 and 2 8 Yeah, so with all the teams so far under budget, and uh, we've, we're pretty happy with our picks. No doubt. Uh, Brian Griffin's kind of in the same boat here with $73 left, 10 24 20 and 21 I'm still quite confident. We've got two more that we're aiming for. Well, good luck to you. Seventy-three dollars left, and last but not least, squad behind the glass. I can't believe I said last but not least. Sixty-one dollars uh, left. Four sixty-one. Ten twenty-three. Seventeen forty-seven. Eighteen oh seven. Twenty-four oh three. And fifty-one ninety. Yeah, don't necessarily have any uh, super flashy names on the roster so far but i think we've got a lot of really solid teams that'll score some points and i have two or three teams left in mind that i should be able to grab them all if i play my well so you can do as we run down in our final teams we're on our 53rd team out of 68 and that's gonna be team number 319 big bad bob 319 is your next team up for bids here on the gate by the way, my, my man Ryan in the back of that picture there. Uh, 65, 22, and 2. Only one district win this year by 319. Uh, and then at the uh, Daily Division, uh, however, though, had a very strong run uh, out in there. Uh, 319 was finalists, I believe. Yep. You know, it's weird on TBA. Uh, they don't have finalists listed on their, on their uh, awards for the Daily Division. Uh, $28, though. It's a pretty good price point for 319. So a pretty good year so far to the boys club uh takes that boys clubs with seven bucks left uh next team coming up uh somebody said that they wanted them uh in chat so we'll see if it happens uh Matthew, by the way 
Uh, thank you for the bits here for 105 bits. Appreciate that. Uh, don't forget, you got that Twitch Prime. Guys, we'd love to have that. Help support uh, a lot of live and independent content here on Fun. Or for just a few bucks a month, you can as well. Uh, next team is team number 33, Killer Bees. 33, will that triple climb work? I think it's a big question uh, with them. But 33, Killer Bees. Uh, great team, obviously. Had some difficulties at championships. Uh, started getting better and better uh, as they went through. Uh, but then winners of uh, Big Bang. And then at uh, Mark... Uh, winners as well too so looking really strong in the off season uh coming right out uh after that uh semi-final exit on the archimedes division 35 dollars all right and 38 dollars and we will have an update apparently by the way uh for a team here uh 39 dollars for the lunch company, two seconds, one, and sold thirty nine dollars. Uh, so there was a uh, I did get a, a message by the way that says that twenty two hundred dropped IRI and fifty ten was added to replace. So if that does hold, uh, whoever picked twenty two hundred will receive uh, fifty ten in this case. So we usually replace it with the like team, but since that's been added, we're just gonna swap that right there. Uh, but we'll confirm that uh, before. I'm not actually. Who is 5010? Tiger Dynasty. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so $39 for Killer Vs uh, going to TLC. Uh, TLC has $24 left. Uh, next team coming up is, of course, one of my favorite teams had an early exit uh, in the quarters on the Archimedes division, but it's team number 2481, the Roboteers. Uh, super cool robot, super complex robot, which I think uh, might have been the bane a little bit of some of their issues that they had at, both at regionals uh, and at the uh, championships. We'll see if they get together. I know they always work hard to keep it going. Uh, so 2481, Robo Tears, $21, 22 already for Squad Behind the Glass. Up to 24. 2041 is too much sideways. <laughs> Uh, Super 4399 says, I think Pop Cargo is going to win. This team, maybe? Well, it's not going to win the team because they only have $11. But Yeah, 2041 is way under right now. Well, we'll see. Well, people don't have money left. So. Like, well, yeah. Everyone, well, you know who people, the the swerve drives that can facilitate double climbs are going to go first. So yeah. this thing is probably worth like more like 40 or 45 Well, we'll see where they end up. And don't forget with the Pick'em League, that could be good value for you as well, too. But they are up to 35 now. Uh, Yeah, so some other big teams uh, up uh, 118, uh, 2910, uh, 3707. I might be missing a couple, but I think those are the ones that are kind of the elites that stand out to me or high tiers. Yeah, they're still low here. $38. (laughs) Well, it's in perspective how much money is left. I mean, the top team has 90, I guess. Um, which is the one that's bidding for it right now. And so there, $38 for the Roboteers. I think I should have went higher, to be honest. We'll see how it works out. Well, Abby you're... betrayed me. Well, how's that? I told her to stop, and she kept going. But I uh, guess we got him, so whatever. <laughs> guys, how about a four blue banner team this year? Three of them while winning uh, at regionals and one for a Woody Flowers. It's going to be team number 48. Team Elite, 48. Uh, Blue Banners do the offense, by the way, too. Usually a team that is very heavy on defense, uh, but had some pretty good offensive scoring this year. Uh, Didn't find as much success at the uh, World Championships in the Curie Division, uh, but we'll see what they go for here at $12 already for Squad Behind the Glass. 13 for Robotics. First Capital R3D, thanks for those bits again. And 13 for Robotics. Looks like it's going to settle there and sold for $13 for team member... 48 you know they're gonna be an interesting team of course uh, like it'll be interesting to see the defensive heavy teams uh i mean like i said 40 can score an offense no doubt but i think uh where their place might be at iri might be on defense but with four robots in that sort of depth of field that could be a value pick uh around there so we'll see how it works out for them i know some of the cd chat uh said hey you know they might get picked they might not they're kind of on that border area where they wouldn't be surprised either way so we'll see how it turns out uh, here's a team who had a, a man a pretty big rebound year, I'll tell you that, uh, with a division win, two regional wins. That's going to be team number 111, Wild Stang. Man, like what a turnaround they have this year. So compared to the other years, of course, Hall of Fame team, 
uh, as well too. And bidding has opened for them. Winners of the Midwest Regional, Seven Rivers Regional, and also won the Carson Division uh, this year as well too. With interesting play because uh, the Carson Division, the Alliance captain didn't play most of the time, if I remember correctly. All right, that that's the one with fifty fifty, right? Yeah, yeah, Carson was really interesting because they probably used the four teams more so than anyone else. Like they they flipped everybody in and out depending wow. on who they're playing. It was really cool to watch. Uh, Roboteer says uh, 11, 11, 111 had a turnaround a chance. They had won zero matches at the end of Thursday, then showed up on Friday. That's pretty cool. That's kind of like 930, I think, was kind of in the same boat uh, as that as well. Uh, Brian Griffins takes uh, 111 for $22. Not bad value right there. All right, we're winding on down. We have uh, 11 teams left, and here's our next one. It's going to be team number 3641. Flying Toasters, 3641. Come soaring in for betting here. 61, 25, and 1 in official play this year. Coming out of Thin. Uh, winners of the, of the Detroit District uh, Championships. They were finalists. Yes, finalists. Rank 6 and finalists. <clears throat> That's some good value. Yeah, not bad for uh, Wild Sting there. So if you are if you are sticking with us, we'll have probably about another twenty minutes here, and that's about the time we'll have the wrap up of this show. So let's give you kind of an ETA and where we're at here, uh, about twenty minutes left. Sometimes we go a little bit long. This is a, a bigger draft that we have here, twenty eight dollars by the Maple Alliance, and going going gone and sold to the Maple Alliance for twenty eight. Uh, we will, when uh, all the teams get through, uh, we'll just do one last kind of uh, wrap around and follow up with everybody, and then we'll say, have a good night. We'll head off, uh, and then we'll be posting the uh, pick em league that will be open tonight. I will make sure that gets open tonight. So just a heads up to everybody. Uh, if you're interested in that, that will open up tonight. That's your chance to win the Cooler Master keyboard and mouse set. Uh, next team is from Cincinnati, Ohio. From Ohio. Uh, 4028. That's the Beak Squad. That's my team. There you go. Better bid. It's got $61 left. Ooh, snap. So squad behind the glass with 60. Oh, just $1. Uh, 29, 13, and 1 uh, this year. Uh, winners at the Buckeye Regional. Up to 14 for Cup of Joe. $16. Has any fun team gone over 40 bucks besides 3538? I don't know. Uh, eighteen dollars. I can't believe Strike uh, Strike Force uh, did not go about forty. Not. Two seconds. One. Actually, Strike Zone went above forty. I think didn't they? Uh, sold for eighteen dollars. My team is yelling at me <laughs> that you didn't pick them or what? I yeah, I did not. Um, saving up for a couple big teams. It's, got, it's, it's just and, like uh, playing fantasy, you know. I'm like I don't right pick now. all Packers for my fantasy team. Well, why would you? The package yeah. of garbage. Oh, I think I'll uh, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This year, we'll, we'll see. So, uh, I'll give you credit. last year. Yes, PJ. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next team coming up is. Uh, sorry, I forgot to switch uh, screens before. Uh, 1923, the Midnight Adventures. 1923, uh, Libby's team uh, coming in. 39, 19, and one. Midnight Adventures. Uh, no blue banners this year. Still a solid year by Midnight Adventures, though. W went out on the semis at uh, FMA. On the quarters at Darwin and Midnight Mayhem, uh, they went out in the finals for an off-season event. $19 for just okay. This is where we're going to start seeing teams probably start to cap out here and spend all their money. Uh, so we have nine teams left, now eight teams left. And $19 is sold to just okay robots. I always want to say just okay robotics. I probably already have said it without realizing it. All right, how about a great rookie team this year? A team that, uh, wow, came out just soaring with uh, two district wins this year. And that's uh, going to be our local team from Indiana here, Super Duper Robotics. Even though they have Purdue in their name, they're from Indianapolis, not uh, West Lafayette. Uh, but an extension, I think, of Purdue. Uh, so 7457, our other rookie team here, coming up on the chopping block. 19 is a great value for 1923, says Necro. And bidding has sad that opened. This team made me hungry for chicken. <laughs> Super duper did. Yeah, because Purdue is a brand of chicken. Oh, okay. 
I thought you, there's a there, okay. So in West Lafayette, there's a uh, family restaurant. If you're uh, driving on uh, the highway going down, and that's called Triple X Family Restaurant. I thought that's what you're referencing for a second. But it is a family restaurant, though. <laughs> yeah, they have okay. peanut they have peanut butter burgers. It's really good. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds uh, terrible, and I uh, do not want butter that. Peanut butter burger. I, uh, I, I was never a Triple X fan. Like uh, I, I went to Purdue, I was never a Triple X fan. Well, that's why you're not there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> It's not, there, <laughs> there are better not restaurants in Lafayette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, but it's the one that sticks out, right? It's the one that people know about. So it, it, it's true. It doesn't mean it's good. That's fair. <laughs> uh, joining them, uh, our next team up is three sixty four team Fusion. This team here, uh, winners Rocket City in the Bayou Regionals this year, made it in the FRC top twenty five. I think near the end of the year. Uh, went out in uh, Carver in the semifinals in three matches. Uh, they were with the Beach Bots this year. So $28. The class went all in. And all nobody... in. <laughs> they complained last time because they didn't go all in with a different team. So... <clears throat> well, Mick has used up all their money, uh, but we only have a few teams left. So we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six teams left, guys. Time to get your money in. And let's do let's do a team you might be able to invest a little bit on. Uh course a team that uh has always performed well at iri had a little bit more of a disappointing year i think this year for them and that's team number 118 the robonauts 118 74 11 and 0 obviously a great uh record but uh that uh omni drive uh really surprised <laughs> oh, at champs so 30's too high already 30's too high so uh three blue banners for them this year uh championships i think were they out on the semis Top of my head, yep. Semis in the Carver division, uh, and they go for thirty bucks. Nobody else bids on them, so thirty bucks. The squad behind the glass. Yeah, surprised I got that. To be honest, um, I thought that would. Yeah, nice. name recognition goes far too. I mean, and the team's not bad. Don't get me wrong; they might do well in quals. Uh, be interesting in playoffs because I think they're the automatic team you play defense against in many circumstances. Um, but we'll see. Uh, next up is team number eighty-eight, TJ Squared. Bit of a dark horse uh, this year, I think, uh, coming in with TJ Squared, 46-34-0 and 0 this year, making their appearance at IRI. No blue banners this year uh, as well, too. Uh, not Did not get picked at uh, New England District Championship out in the quarters at Darwin. But I think they're a team that could swoop in uh, at a low pick and uh, do some damage. But $24 sold to the Maple Alliance, spending the rest of their money in the draft. Might as well. Four teams left. We know you're holding out for two. Pretty bad. But let's maybe give you one that's uh, still a solid team. Might not be who you're holding out for. And that's team number 3940, Cybertooth. Uh, this year. No pitcher of Cybertooth up on TBA. Nick Lawrence calling you out, man. What's going on? We got to fix this. Uh, so uh, coming up, $14 uh, for squad behind the glass. Cybertooth, 29-20-0. Winners of St. Uh, Joseph District, the Indiana one. Some teams are going to be uh, left with a little bit too much money here, I think. Yeah, no kidding. We'll see. Uh, that's we're the way people, people hold out, and then they're like, oh, oh wait, oh, man. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but $14. So yeah, I'm not two, sure two. if they're really worth that, but I'm not realistically going to get some of the big-name teams with my budget, so I figure no, it was worth that. That's a very fair strategy right there. Two All teams right. are going to get what they want. Everyone else is going to be disappointed. Well, let's get ready to max out our budget. What do you think, guys? Uh, and that's going to be with team number 2910, Jack in the Bot. 2910, get ready to max. Don't rip a whole $3. What, what, 65 is the most? We'll go for 65 right away. We'll see. Dude, how about 17 That sounds. How about $17? $24 for TLC, 33 for Brian Griffins, 40 for Robotics. Robotics trying to see if they can uh, maybe squeak out a little bit less out of it. We'll see. 42. It's going to call PJ out. He wasn't even touching it. <laughs> 44. Questionable decision makers now at 45, 46. Just bid 53 robotics. Actually, bid 52. That's probably your best. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my father. <laughs> 40, 47. Yeah. 48. Cast the point of able to get uh, Mars at the same time. <laughs> uh, bids cannot be beaten. So $53 for Jack and the Bot. Still not bad value. Quarter I'm a budget. little surprised. They wanted them more than 3707, but yeah. 
I yeah, didn't. but who knows 3707? I don't. <laughs> well, who knows if they're even coming up next? Oh, wait, they are up next. Ooh. Which, of course, means our Ooh. last team will be uh, 2614 Mars, who I think was our te- last team last year. Uh, I think so. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. So. Uh, but it's Brian, like they're going for 34. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're going to be the most overpaid team once again. So, uh, Brian Tetno Dogs, uh, here they go. 24, $34. Cannot be beaten. 34 bucks. Uh, going to questionable decision makers. So let's look at who's going to get the last team here. It's I'm going to guess it's going to be the Brian Griffins, right? Probably. Probably. We'll see. Maybe Unless... they just maybe they just pass it them up. You know why not? So maybe, maybe they'll be nice and just give it to TLC. How about we just give everybody a point for every dollar they have left? Oh wait, we're not doing that. Uh, so twenty six fourteen, Mountaineer Air Robotics Mars is the last team. And we'll do a quick uh, breakdown afterwards. We'll make fun of people who still have money and go from there. So bid 19. Oh, wait, you got to bid 25 or 24, right? You just, I'll just bid yeah. all your money. If you couldn't bid 25, <laughs> come on. At least let some people have potential to take them. All right, we'll confirm that at $33. People will wonder why you took them now and ridicule you online. Because they won't nobody's know about gonna, draft order. Nobody's taking them in the pick em. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that might not happen. I mean, realistically, that, that does happen sometimes. Yeah. All right. Let's wrap up uh, tonight. We'll do a quick uh, rundown. We're going to go from uh, uh, backwards. Uh, so the last team up to the front. So squad behind the glass has $17 left. Uh, 118, 461, 1023, 1747, 1807, 2403, 3940, and 5190. Squad behind the glass. How are you feeling after this draft? Yeah, I mean, I feel good. Uh, my team's still mad at me that I didn't pick us, which, uh, I mean, I guess I could have if I had $17 left uh, in hindsight. But, um, yeah, I overpaid a little bit on the last couple of them, but that's just because I knew I wasn't going to get twenty nine ten or thirty seven oh seven, and might as well secure some teams. Um, overall, the rest of the teams came under budget, and I feel pretty good about it. Well, good luck to you uh, in the live draft. Brian Griffins. Uh, you have all their money, 111, 1024, 2056, 2168, 2614, and 4028. Uh, some of the, probably one of the teams that has the least amount of teams, but some definite powerhouses. Yeah, I was thinking that 111 would go for more, so I was just waiting for that. And then now I kind of wish I grabbed a few others. But you didn't, so but good luck to you anyways. Uh, Maple Alliance. Uh, used of all their money, 88, 11, 14, 16, 90, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 3, 4, 6, 1. You might actually have the least amount of teams, but let's see uh, how you think. Um, I got the teams that I wanted, well, at least most of them, uh, somewhere under budget. I definitely overspend on uh, flying coasters, but that's fine. Um, I'm happy with my picks, and I'm super excited for Excellent. By the way, uh, thank you. Lino, welcome back, buddy. 18 months of support. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Good to see you, man. Uh, you miss, and hopefully you didn't miss Lambot uh, earlier. Uh, TLC has the most amount of money left, $24. Uh, bold move. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, with 33, 340, 1684, 2767, 3847, and 4265. We're feeling pretty good about our lineup. However, we, we were actually debating about how some teams kind of overprice some other teams. But we'll see if them overpricing actually pays out for them in their favor at the end. But <laughs> at the end of the day, we're excited for IRI. No doubt. Good luck to you. Uh, just okay, robotics or just okay, robots. See, I knew I say it. Uh, Thirteen dollars left over. Five forty-eight, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty seventy-five, thirty-three fifty-seven, thirty-six oh four, forty-six oh seven, forty-seven seventy-six, fifty-two oh five. All right. So basically, I think I got. I think I might have gotten the most amount of teams in this draft. Uh, but I also got two teams that also that have suck climbs, which I feel like was, is good value for a second round pick for, for entering IRI. So I'm glad that I got them. Uh, and I feel like I got some good value on some teams, such as 548 early. Uh, but yeah, no doubt. Uh, so next one coming up, uh, Cup of Joe used up all their money, 234, 364, 868, 1676, 2200, 4362, 5406, 5511. That's pretty good. I'm pretty bummed that 2200 isn't going to make it. I think yeah. that's going to hurt a fair bit. Did we confirm that, by the way? The, um, uh, for what I looked like, it was an official email from IRI saying that, so... Chris also posted it on Chief. I was going to say, I was just looking at it on Chief. So, yeah, it looks like Chris Foltz uh, 
Posted at 2200, uh, decided to decline, and that 5010 uh, will accept the late invitation. Um, so we will follow up because we'll actually give you, we're, we're going to place that price value of that, but we will give you the next closest team otherwise uh, for value. Right. So I'll follow up with the afterwards because that's the way we had it written is that we we're going to give you the next closest value. Okay. Which, uh, what what'd you spend on that team on 2200? $21. Okay. So we'll find one that's of comparable value and uh, I'll follow up with you afterwards. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, Robotic Skatelin of twelve dollars left over has forty eight fifty one one zero seven twenty nine ten fifty eight zero one sixty four forty three seventy four fifty seven and seventy four ninety eight. You have both rookie teams. Yeah, we're actually really happy about our lineup. Um, it was for everyone on our team. It was our first time going through something like this, and uh, we feel like we have a pretty solid lineup. So feeling pretty good. Well, good luck to you there, Caitlin. And question, uh, questionable decision makers, uh, led here by PJ. Eighteen dollars left. Uh, nine ten, nine thirty, fourteen ten, two three three seven, twenty forty one, and thirty seven oh seven. Um, this was an incredibly stressful experience, and I was terrified the entire time. So, uh, but overall, it's uh, I'm content with our lineup. I'm not going to say I'm super happy with it. I would have liked one more team doesn't even matter which team I, sh I know i played it a little bit too conservative early um but i mean i did get myself 3707 who's one of the ones i came into the draft wanting to make sure i got um 930 i think i got for a decent value same with 910 so i got a couple good value picks i've got probably four teams that are almost guaranteed to touch carpet and elims which is a huge thing hmm. um i've got at least four if not all six but i think i think about four that'll make carpet almost for sure so that's huge. So I'm I'm content. Would have liked one more team, but uh, it is what it is. Well, good luck to you and questionable decision makers. The boys club take in with seven dollars left. Three nineteen, three thirty, ten seventy three, thirty five, thirty eight, and fifty four sixty. Only five teams for your boys club. Yeah, uh, we didn't get that many teams, and like PJ, um, I'd say I'm content, not super happy, but we think all five of our robots, we're, we're pretty sure, are going to be playing in Elims like on carpet. So we'll see how things go. And rounding up pop cargo, Ben, $11 left, 195, 217, 225, 1241, 1720, 1730, and 3478. Yeah, um, relatively happy. I wish I'd gotten one more team. I was trying really hard to spend that last $11. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think the two teams to the right of me are also pretty good. Um, so... It, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, lots of good stuff could happen. Well, teams, good luck to you. Thanks for uh, being part of the draft and setting the prices. Hey, just one thing I want to talk about before we head out. Some of you might have seen this uh, fancy little mug. This is a stoneware mug, by the way, which means it's like the highest quality you can possibly get. Uh, dishwasher, oven safe. We're going to be actually uh, partnering with uh, my company here uh, to have these for fundraising. And you'll have an opportunity to uh, earn uh, $8.50 per mug that you sell. And they sell for 25 bucks, includes all your shipping and all that stuff like that. We'll have more details about this soon, but just want to let you know as school year is coming up, if you guys want to raise a lot of money for your team, uh, we've already uh, tried this with a couple others who have raised a few thousand dollars each. Uh, so make sure you keep your ears out on fun. Uh, anybody who listens to fun will get a special promotional offer to get $9 per mug instead of eight fifty of the normal pricing. So great opportunities for fundraisers for you that we'll be bringing to the table. Uh, more about this tomorrow if you're watching. Speaking of which, uh, we will have a show tomorrow for our IRI preview show starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, show will run about uh, 75 minutes or so, so make sure you tune in for that. Uh, and then if you're into the FTC realm, we'll have the Maryland Tech Invitational Recap, the MTI Recap, which is essentially the IRI of uh, FTC. Yes, I know there's an IRI FTC this year, but let's be real. The MTI is the best event there is uh, for that. And we'll have a recap of that with some great interviews as well, too. Uh, so teams, thank you so much for being part of this. Once again, check our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. Uh, we'll be posting uh, where you can do the pick'em draft and win the Cooler Master keyboard and mouse kit. Uh, or if you're outside of the U.S., you'll get uh, an Amazon gift card. So uh, all the teams, thank you so much for drafting. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you next time on Fun. Talk to you then. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.